Internet, it is Gunter with many mishaps games, and today is the one year anniversary of starting the channel. We are going to take a look back at some of our favorite videos. So the first video that wasn't a uh, Kickstarter video from a long time ago and that wasn't a, a promo for our drive to RPG materials was a video I painted 30 bit plus minis in 30 days from last year's October and this was really I was at my, my darkest point of depression and I decided that I was going to paint miniatures and record the results and have a YouTube channel be my accountability for that. So that was a year ago and uh, so that was the, the first real video was at the end of that October, October 26th, uh, a year ago. We did 30 minutes in 30 days. Um, immediately after we did an unboxing with uh, Frybox 64 uh, so and then immediately after that we had the Monster Bash versus Meets Together verse, uh, which is still one of our best viewed videos that we have on there from the very beginning so at that time we did um, a miniatures from scratch series where we were making miniatures out of clay and wire and carving them out of wood and soap and all kinds of things. We had painting challenges. Uh, so we've got still got midweek paint theme, but the challenges were actually um, random challenges on a random generator and miniatures drawn from a, a pile of a big box of random. Uh, so we did several of those series. Uh, we did a couple of reviews early on, uh, we did some uh, challenges with different collaborators, uh, we did some mold casting, uh, we had started our mystery mail series, and then uh, I did a couple of musical farcical pieces, so uh, We Broke the Bard's Liar was a parody of We Didn't Start the Fire, and again I'm on here as a as a artist starting out, not as a musician, so those are are hopefully entertaining, but pretty awful. Uh, um, uh, then the next musical piece was the Voyage of the Iron Booty, which was a sea shanty back when the um, uh, that was the sea, big sea shanty. We did the thirty days of um, homebrew universe descriptions. And that was for Tabletop Dungeoneers. We started into 3D work and working with the thermoset plastic. We did Squig Bash. That was another big video that was um, eight months ago. We started, we changed up two or three times. We changed our, our thumbnail layout. Uh, we did a big pile of shame elimination tournament where we decided which miniatures we were going to make. Uh, we published more things to Drive Through RPG and did more different collaborations. There's a whole folder of collaborations, so go check that out. We've we've been we've encountered some pretty amazing artists and individuals on uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, so go check out all those friends of the channel. Uh, and then. Yeah, those just continued into the, the present. We did a second Monster Bash, and just a couple of days ago, the third Monster Bash. Uh, we started doing more integration of the homebrew content in, of the Getherverse into the channel. Uh, we put 500 bases on miniatures to raise awareness for suicide prevention, and we gave away a bunch of miniatures for World Smile Day. Um, and more recently, uh, started a, got a new trailer and a new logo, and and are ready to start our next second year here. So our top videos of the year were the Monster Bash challenge. That's the first Monster Bash, and this video was recorded before the 
next Monster Bash comes out because it was October 26th was our one year anniversary. The next Monster Bash will hopefully also do well. Uh, then our, our long running channel trailer that uh, changed recently was the next one. And for whatever reason, and this got almost all of the views in one day, there, we had a video that was that said, Mini Mishaps takes a big step towards 3D printing its own design. And it was a short, and apparently had all the right keywords right or something, because it, in that one day, had got to third on the year. So, a lot of views for our Elvenar review. That was our only video game review that we did, so that, that got some views. And then after that, it was the, the We Broke the Bard Flyer parody. So, those were the top videos of the year. Because we gained uh, 68 subscribers, which means that we have three subscribers that have been with us more than a year. So, thank you to you guys. So we're going to check out the vidIQ achievements board next. So um, we hit 50 subscribers on February 25th and that uh, we did a little resin cast <laughs> YouTube video, uh, I mean YouTube button, play button um, for that 50 subscriber mark. Uh, we hit 4,000 views on September 12th. We had 300 likes that day on the same day as well. Uh, we hit 300 uploads on September 26th. 150 hours watched on July 3rd. 150 comments on September 27th. That was the day before my birthday. In this last year, we have done 38 time-lapse videos, or at least videos that are keyworded that way, there's probably a lot more. Uh, 32 kit bashing videos, 40 channel updates, 49 promotional videos, 6 about mold casting, 18 about terrain, 23 about basing, 31 how to's, 14 unboxing videos, uh, 21 about RPG gaming, 70 about our homebrew universe, 68 about uh, RPG writing, we have done 60 videos where we collaborated uh, with other people, so that is probably one of the things I'm most proud of of the channel, that we, we really tried to get out there and work with other people on videos. 28 videos on 3D design, 89 challenge videos, 13 holiday videos, 99 exactly painting videos, unless that's the highest it can count in a playlist, it might be 100, could be and 26 3D printing videos. Uh, 40 videos referencing pop culture. Nine videos where we made repairs, at least again that are tagged that way. Eight videos tagged with song and dance. 16 videos of, about mystery mail. 21 videos about voices and linguistics. Eight videos about sculpting. And five videos about shopping. So that is kind of how the year looked for us. We are currently sitting at 71 subscribers and 157 watch hours. So that's 71 out of 1,000 if we're heading for monetization and 157 watch hours out of 4,000. So pretty exciting. All right, we're gonna check out some of our favorite videos. So our first big video as a channel was I painted 30 plus minis in 30 days and uh, that kicked off several of our 30 minis in 30 days. I want to count those. So we had that one and then apparently Monster Bash Challenge was right after and got the most views out of the year so yay on that. Um, apparently Somebody didn't like the Starfish Clay Wire Warrior Minis from Scratch, Episode 2. Because that only has a 67% rating. That's our worst rating. So, if you want to go find that video and add some likes to it, that would be really nice. Um, that probably means there is two likes and one dislike, I guess, if it's 
we did our first paint challenge was zombie cap and he's reappeared in several videos he's one of our favorite kit bashing projects and painting projects that we've done all the way back um, I painted the skull mug and then we got into the holidays and I did the ninja bread men all throughout we're doing collaboration videos with as many different artists uh, youtubers as we can uh, we made the Imagineticist kit bashing. Uh, we did another 30 projects in 30 days in November and again in December. Um, we added casting, mold casting, plastics. Um, we had our first bake off with Frybox 64. We did the parody of We Didn't Start the Fire, all about the homebrew universe. I did, I think the first skeleton project I did was I made the Duolingo Owl. That was fun. Uh, we painted a druid as Thor, a DD miniature. Uh, we painted our first Hero Forge miniature, which was the Lizard Folk Commander. At that time, I thought I was going to be building an all, all uh, non DW army and learning how to play Warhammer. That hasn't happened yet in the year last year. Uh, we did another 30 projects video in January and then we had our 30 days of world building um, homebrew universe challenges. We did a Google Translate video. We started our random holidays of the day videos that we do. Uh, we had Squig Bash, we had a second Monster Bash, we did the Dragon Wagon Diorama, and then all through April was the um, Homebrew Challenge videos and, and our Pile of Shame Elimination Tournament. Uh, we did a random character challenge with... Uh, Frybox 64 and that got a lot of views from you guys. Uh, we put 500 bases on miniatures to raise awareness for suicide prevention. We reskinned a number of uh, minis to the unexpected. So we did a uh, Koi Salhaugen and we did a uh, Honeybee 3 Cream. Um, we did, we painted a, a punk rocker dwarf bard, uh, and then we started 3D printing at the library, so we started doing projects with that, and we did a couple of dioramas, we made a hieroglyphic cartouche, uh, we did all kinds of kit bashing and 3D design projects. Uh, we got some cameos from my five-year-old and um, we helped with, with several other channel videos as well. So it's been an awesome year. We've had a couple of redesigns and most recently we got a new logo. Um, and we entered our first uh, 3D rendering contest submission. So all kinds of stuff. And we owe it all to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, for supporting. All right, for our last section, we are taking a look at some of the collaborating that we did over the year. Uh, this is our one of our very first collaborations. These are going to loosely be in order of uh, date. We did a baking challenge with the Frybox 64. And we also here did an unboxing. We did some mini painting with them. And uh, so each of these is just gonna be a couple of seconds clips, but I encourage you to go watch those because all of our collaboration videos just is some of the most fun stuff that we've done all year. Uh, we tasted some Russian candy and we did some Duolingo verses. <laughs> and uh, back in the early days, we were just kind of doing all different kinds of stuff. There's a little tango dancing, and it wasn't as much a, uh, there's the bake-off there, wasn't as much 
direction as we have now with the three series and the challenges, etc. So here's a cameo of my five-year-old. Uh, he was in several videos. We did the Duolingo thing, another Bake Off, and uh, this was Monster Bash 1. So there's the kind of loon-based colored uh, character. This was a Parcel Dwarf intro help was such an amazing fun time and that is a great video go check out parcel dwarf this was with uh the immortal lucy uh we were uh gonna coat him in resin and and do that together yeah this is also leading up to nerd fest so we did a random character creation challenge again with frybox 64 this is the 3D um, kit bash with uh, vivid mini mods. And then here we are back at Nerdfest. We got to start 3D printing with the library, so that was awesome. Uh, and then we did the 500 bases for raising suicide prevention awareness. So that was an undertaking that we had a little bit of help with. This is the Weird Ones tabletop. Kit bash. Uh, we did our Animalian Atlica Heads of State. Um, this is the giveaway we did uh, at several locations of the miniatures. Uh, this is the before and after of the wheel. Now this one, the video's not out yet, so you guys are getting a sneak peek of these next couple because we finished the videos and the projects before making this video. The wheel turned. That was such a great project from Earthman Brick. And then now we have our. Monster Bash 3, and that uh, is again all of the Monster Bashes with miscast minis um, and got from Rack Rack's art. This is Orktober, uh, and that is being hosted by Rising 8 Minis. And then we had the Daz 3D Spooktacular, so lots of collaboration. You guys made it to the end of the video. You made it with us a whole year. Thank you so much for being with us. We can't do it without you guys. Uh, we appreciate your support. If you can like and subscribe, our next uh, channel goals are to hit that 100 uh, subscribers. And then um, we also have a Patreon uh, if you want to help us that way. We appreciate that as well. So we're gonna keep making videos and uh, we hope you'll join us and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us in the next year. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet.